Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Black Optical, and uh, I just wanted to do a little video showing you of some of the uh, photography equipment that I'm taking on a trip. I leave tomorrow for three weeks, um, heading to Cyprus and Jordan and London. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, some of the equipment I'm taking and, and maybe give you um, some ideas on some different type of equipment that you could buy for a trip that you might be going on um, and you might want to get some of this uh, photography equipment alright so I've got my main bag here and then I have a, a secondary bag and then uh, the little tripod I'll talk about that in a minute so this bag I'm just taking basically to um, to have on me uh, if I don't need to take the full bag um, if I just want to travel light, have the camera with one lens on it, um, I can throw it in this and, and um, throw it over my shoulder and it's it's pretty easy to take around and, and not as heavy. Um, in this front bag, got a, a little tripod here. Uh, this is the Gorilla Pod. And um, yeah, it's a good... Uh, it's a good little tripod. Uh, this one's actually for the Flip uh, Ultra HD that I'm I'm shooting this video on. So we'll take this and and uh, and that'll be cool because you can wrap it around, um, you know, railings or or whatnot, or make it into a standard tripod for um, nice steady shots. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Joby makes it. It's a Gorilla Pod. They come in all different sizes, as you'll see. There's a bigger one over there. Uh, but this is a small one. It works great for a flip or a small camera. So that's just in the front pocket. Let's just put that to the side. Um, the bigger Joby that I have is uh, the uh, SLR Zoom, or the digital SLR Zoom, I think it's called. And it uh, it holds up to six and a half pounds. Um, I got the, the uh, DSLR version and and uh, put my camera on it to try it out with uh, one of my lenses and it just it wasn't beefy enough so this one's actually uh, pretty strong um, and uh, it's it's gonna work really well uh, I didn't get the uh, the Joby uh, Gorilla Pod ball head with it um, this is actually a Markins ball head it's a really nice ball head. it's very expensive so it's usually on my carbon fiber tripod, but I'm not taking that on this trip. It's a little too big. And now let's take a look at uh, inside the big bag. This is actually the uh, Low Pro Mini Trekker bag, and it works really well, especially for for traveling. Uh, it's easy to carry on. It fits in overhead compartments. I don't like to check any of my photography equipment other than maybe a tripod just for reasons I don't I don't want uh, any of my equipment getting damaged by baggage handlers so this is the the main compartment I'll open it up and the first thing you'll see is the light disc It's made by Photoflex it's a circular reflector it's got uh, white on one side and silver on the other and it's just in a zippered bag easy to carry around it obviously expands when you open it up um, and it's good for that uh, soft light or fill, fill light um, works really well okay now this is the main uh, compartment and kinda go through some of the stuff um, I shoot Nikon and this is a, a Nikon SB800 flash in its own case um, in this little compartment I've got a, um, a diffuser cap for the flash um, this is a uh, Giados Rocket Air blower um, it's good for getting dust off of your sensor, or cleaning out your uh, your lens. Have a little extra back cap for a lens in there as well. It's a Gary Fong. It's a light sphere. Uh, the light sphere. It's the um, it goes on top of your flash, and it helps kind of make the light a little softer and and wrap around your subject a little bit better. Uh, it works pretty well. So I keep that there. Uh, this little section is my that's my battery charger and then I've got uh, two extra batteries in here and then a 
10 double A's. It's two sets of five because my flash, the SB800, takes uh, five double A's, and so I've got two backup sets for that. There's another set already in the flash. So that's kind of my battery station there. I've got uh, a pretty good all around lens. Uh, it's the Nikon 18 to 200 millimeter, uh, 3.5 to 4.6, I believe. Um, and uh, it's kind of a good all around travel. Uh, you can get pretty wide with it, and then you can zoom in quite a bit. And it's got the vibration reduction built in as well, uh, which helps. Uh, in low light situations. And then here I've got um, a memory card bag. Sorry for the jingles there. A uh, memory card bag. It holds uh, a variety of memory cards. Um, my camera actually uses both compact flash and SD. It's got a dual card slot, so um, got both of those. And that works really well. It keeps it all together and Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, um, when I use up a card, I will um, turn it over and put it back in. So if the back side is showing, I know that the card's already filled. The front side showing, I know it's already formatted, it's clear, it's ready to go. Um, I can grab those and put them in the camera ready to go. This is a, um, a nifty little travel adapter. Uh, so you can plug in your device there and then... Um, you can choose, you know, whichever prongs you want. Go in England, or I mean, it doesn't have all of them, but it does have a pretty nice variety, and it's all in one one package, so works really well. Uh, it doesn't have a transformer built in, but for the things that I'm using it for, uh, I don't need it. Got a cell phone charger back down there too. Um, this is uh, my 50 millimeter, 1.8. Nikon, and uh, it's a great little lens. Um, nice and lightweight to have on the camera walking around. Um, great in low light with the wide aperture and uh, sharp lens, good colors. Great, great lens. They used to, the old cameras used to always come with a 50 millimeter 1.8 um, lens as the kit lens, but nowadays they they put zoom zoom lenses on that aren't usually as as good. All right, and then this is my camera, the D300S, and I've got a 24 to 70 2.8 lens on it. Um, this lens is awesome. Uh, it's more expensive than the camera itself, but it works really well. And I shoot weddings and portraits a lot, so this lens is um, is awesome for that. Really good lens, extremely sharp. Okay, that's. Pretty much it. There are some zipper pockets up here in the in the top underneath the the cover. And uh, let's see, what do I have in here? I've got two microfiber cloths for uh, wiping off lenses. Um, I have the um, I've got a little thumb drive in this one, as well as um, the LCD cover. There's a little plastic cover for the LCD. I usually don't have it on, but in certain cases I'll put it on. Uh, and then in this one, I have the um, the cord for uh, the battery charger, and then I also have um, these cards: a gray card, uh, white, and a black. And basically, if you haven't seen these before, um, if you're shooting portraits or something like that, and you really want to nail the color uh, post processing um, in Photoshop or Lightroom, you can have your subject hold these up. Uh, in the lighting that you're going to take the picture in. Uh, it's got a little thing that you focus on and uh, and then in post-processing you can actually select your uh, neutral point and your white and black levels. Um, so it really helps you nail exposure and, and coloring and that kind of thing. And you know they don't weigh anything and easy to carry along. Really helpful. And I think that's about it. Uh, there is a pocket in the front. I just have um, my camera manual in there, which is I always carry with me, and just it's nice to to have with you. And uh, I think that's it. Some business cards and a notepad. Uh, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.